Welcome to the Solid Game University channel. This video's topic is finishing a pocket. So of all the tool paths inside Holocam, um, pocket is the one that you actually would use for things like cavities or bosses or that sort of thing. Um, to rough it out, it's pretty simple. If we open up one of these pocketing tool paths, we'll see that essentially to call this a roughing tool path, we just need to add some material to the walls on the floor and then give it a step down in the level section. And that will generate the tool path pretty much like that. So with a radial step over that we define here in the technology section, radial step over, and then our step down, we remove all the material. But now if we wanna go right from here into finishing the pocket, the walls and the floor, we wanna use the same tool or change the tool, um, we can do a save and copy. And I've already done that, so I'm just gonna open up the next one. And everything's the same. In this case, I'm using the same tool for simplicity, but you could easily now switch to a different tool because you're now in a different tool path. Change your step downs, change your step over, whatever you need. And in this case, if I wanna do this as just a finishing of the wall using a pocketing tool path, I make sure that these are set to zero. And I check this box for wall, and I can basically sell it, tell it to do the entire wall in one go, or do each step using the step down defined in the levels. And what that looks like, it's basically that. So that is just the walls of this pocket. You notice it doesn't do the floor. Now, if I wanna do the floor again, I can do a save and copy. So I've done that already, so I'll open this up. And this time, I'm gonna have these boxes unchecked and I'm gonna have these set to zero. So whatever I do with this toolpath will be finishing because it's going right down to zero. To do just the floor, however, if I go to levels, I set it to whatever number I want. I can make this a very large number, as long as it's larger than the pocket depth, because that will generate a toolpath that goes all the way down to the bottom of the pocket. If I set this to zero, pretty much the same thing. It'll go right down, because I'm telling it a zero step down, it'll just go right down to the bottom. If I set this to something very large, let's say 100 inches, same sort of thing. It'll just default to the depth of the pocket and we get something that looks like that. So essentially, you can finish the pocket using a pocketing toolpath. You just got to set it for the floor or the walls separately. Okay. Any other questions on this or anything else from SolidCam, you can always call us at 1-866-975-1115, extension 2. You can send us your parts, your questions, or, or your comments via the ticket system at solidcamsupport.com or stay tuned for the rest of the videos on this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.